When it comes to my video editing workflow, I'm pretty happy with how things run, with the exception of one aspect of my process, which is the inability to view thumbnails or to even watch 4K 10-bit footage. Now, straight off the bat, I didn't find a way to view the thumbnails without downloading external software, which I don't want to do. But what I did manage to do is find a way to actually watch your videos using VLC Media Player. And it's super easy. There's a few things you need to change in the preferences, and I'll show you exactly how you can watch your 4K 10-bit footage on your computer. Right, so we've got my file explorer open with some footage. This is 1080p footage, and this over here is a 4K video file. As you can see, I've already got VLC as my default video viewer. And if you haven't done that yet, you can do so by right-clicking, open with, and over here you'll see all your options. But if you want to set a certain software as your default, go to choose another app. And as you can see, I've already done this for VLC but it'll come as one of your options here. Click on VLC and then check always use this app to open .mov or whatever file it is that you're working with and click OK. I've already done this, so I'm not gonna do this again. And if I were to click on this file now to watch it, you'll see we have only audio, but it's just a black screen, so you can't watch your 4K footage. I'm gonna show you the two steps that work for me. Open up VLC Media Player and you'll find your user interface pops up. Go to Tools, Preferences, or push Control P. Go to Input Codecs and where it says Hardware Accelerator Decoding, change it from Automatic to Disable and click Save. Now try watch your video again and it's still not working. Go back to Tools, Preferences, and this time go to Video and where you have your output options, instead of automatic, select OpenGL Video Output. Save, double click, and there we have it, video and audio. And that's the temporary solution I have going for now. If you happen to know how I can get to see these thumbnails with just tweaking some Windows or VLC settings, please do let me know in the comment section down below. I would really appreciate it. If you found this video helpful, if you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.